Hare Krishna. To lose faith in our potential to improve is the way to cowardice and malice. When we try to improve ourselves and sometimes if we fail once, twice, thrice, when we fail repeatedly, we may become disheartened. And once we become disheartened, we may even stop trying. We say, this, I'm never going to improve. This is the way I am and this is the way I'm going to stay. Now, actually, we may think that um, I'm just being pragmatic. But this is the way to cowardice and malice. Why cowardice? Yes, the dark forces within us are, are dangerous. They are difficult to fight. But heroism is in fighting them. And, and not fighting them, caving in to them is cowardice. You know, we hand over our consciousness, our souls, we hand over our entire being to these dark forces. And thus, we, uh, by, just as a warrior who refuses to fight an enemy just because they are too powerful and fighting them is too difficult, we consider them cowardly. We consider such a warrior cowardly. So if we refuse to, if we think that we have no potential to improve ourselves and also to improve the world around us by our small efforts, in our small way, then we are being cowardly. And not only are we, uh, is this the way to cowardice, from cowardice we can go to malice also. Because the forces that prevent us from improving, they are the forces which will not let us stay where we are. They are the forces which will uh, drag us down. Not only so that they hurt, the, we hurt ourselves more and more, but we will hurt others also. So the Bhagavad Gita cautions that actually the self-destructive desire, the dark desires within us, they are all devouring. They can, if we, if we give in to them, they can, they can destroy us and make us agents for destroying others. So the Bhagavad Gita says, Kame Shakro Desha Rajoguna Samudbhava Maha Shano Maha Papma Vidye Namiha Vairinam So Maha Shano Maha Papma It is the all-devouring sinful enemy. So it can, it can destroy us and it can not just destroy us but it can make us destroy others it's like the enemies if we refuse to fight they will not only defeat us but they will also force us to shoot against our own comrades to destroy our own uh, our own fort and thus we will become we'll start becoming malicious so by recognizing that there is no choice except to fight the inner war. We can gird ourselves. And if we can maintain this faith that we can improve ourselves, then God is there to help us. Because after all, we are His eternal parts. And He assures that we stay His etern parts eternally. Mamaivam shoji valoke jiva bhutaha sanatanaha That we stay His parts eternally. And by striving to connect with Him, by, by striving to connect with the divinity within us, we realize and release our own divinity. And thus, we not only are able to fight the vice within us, but we bring out the virtue within us. And not only will we improve ourselves, change ourselves for the better, but we will also become agents to change the world for the better. Thank you. Hare Krishna.